Hey folks, Brian Blessing in Las Vegas, ATS.io, and we're talking PGA uh, action again, back-to-back weeks in Las Vegas, this time out at Shadow Creek. Great field, really swank course. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I got to tell you, I got to fall on the sword here and give them credit at the Shriners Hospital for Children Open. I always carp and moan about the fact that the winning scores in the 23 to 25 under range, but you know what they always get? Fantastic finishes. A three-man playoff. Actually had a little piece of Martin Laird at 60-1. to one. He blows it on 18, but he wins it on the second playoff hole. But good on them. I mean, it was a great tournament, and it was exciting. Now we're talking about the event at Shadow Creek. This is the CJ Cup. Justin Thomas has won two of the last three CJ Cups, but they were in South Korea. Now you're coming here. Uh, to Vegas on a course that only a handful of these guys have played. One of them was the favorite DJ uh, Dustin Johnson. DJ, 10-1. to 1. Course record, only a 66. Wait a minute, late development. Dustin Johnson test positive for COVID, so he's not going to tee it up. Look at the top of the list. John Rahm goes to 8-1 to 1 with the scratch of Dustin Johnson. Roy McIlroy's at 12-1. to 1. Justin Thomas, 10-1. to 1. Uh, You look at Shoffley's at 12. Matthew Wolf went from 20 down to 18. He lost in the playoff over at the Shriners Open. Comes here in very good form. Patrick Cantley's 20 to 1. Looked great for three days. Had a bad Sunday, but Cantley could be dangerous. The guys coming back from England in uh, the BMW Championship, in particular, Ty Hatton, who won, Fleetwood, Fitzpatrick, Shane Lowry, they all played great on the weekend. Well, one of those Englishmen step up to the plate, bring that good form. Travel's tough, but they're in good form. I think the way to go here is look for a price. On the weekend, you get one of these great players who's four or five back before moving day. Who are the price uh, guys to consider? I think you got to roll the rock here. Big undulating greens. Daniel Berger off a shelf was great this year in the summer months back from that wrist injury. I think Berger could be coming back in at 35 to 1, kind of a sneaky price on him. Uh, I think you got to roll the rock. And a guy that hits greens, or hits fairways, and is putting lights out all year long is Brendan Todd, 60, 70 to 1. I think that's a great price on a guy like Brendan Todd. But the guy I would take a real long look at is Sung J M, uh, who just plays week after week after week. And I think the shutdown, uh, the pandemic, hurt him more than anybody. He played this past weekend uh, over at TPC Summerlin. I think he comes in here. Had a pretty good tournament. I think Sun JM's sitting on a win soon, and this could be the week at a nice overlay price of 40 to 1. Back to back weeks in Las Vegas should be fun at Shadow Creek. Wait till you see this setup. It's the course Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson played on. Gonna be a great weekend of golf. Glad to talk about it right here at ATS.io.